Carro. Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a reading for my Scorpio friends and it's all about what Spirit wants you to know for March, okay? So the first card out is about your soul journey and what you're trying to focus on and pay attention to. You are ready to start. A new chapter is beginning for you right now. This time, go easy on yourself. Be the courageous, loving being you are. Breathe into the present moment and allow any anxieties to drop away. Enjoy the journey and stop thinking the future will bring something better. When the future arrives, it will be now. Step out of the shadow of the past. All that matters is what you decide to do from this moment. Your life is yours to live in whatever way is meaningful to you. You brought yourself to this life and you are responsible for the quality of it. Trying to understand your reasoning for coming here will just hold you back. Just remember everything you have done was the best thing to do at the time or you thought it was as you move forward you will understand your mo motives experience allows you to better handle crisis you are now deliberately creating a new chapter in your life you are such an amazing pioneer look at that it's absolutely beautiful and when creating this pioneerage about moving forward into what it is you want to create in your life my true safety lies in the capacity to align with the love of the universe so if you're feeling insecure remember that you've got to align with the love of the universe in order to have that safety and understand that they have your back at every moment at every given time i am in awe of the magnificent guidance that is open to me available to me it's almost like there is an opening something that absolutely delight de delights you and it blows your mind the amount of potential and guidance that's available to you at any given time i really feel you're stepping into that energy of understanding that you're being guided and that where your energy flows is where your intention goes which is all about co-creating with the divine it's all about co-creating in this, this time space we've come to co-create in. It's beautiful. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So in always trusting this, it's like who you sit across from every day, trusting that that's who you're meant to talk to right in that given moment. Who it is that walks into your workplace and holds a tarot card at her table and you're like, oh, you do tarot cards. And then you start up this conversation. It's divinely guided. The whole thing is divinely guided and people are being brought together to help create something absolutely beautiful right now in raising the mass vibrational consciousness. Let's read the card, Delight. If I can find it. There it is. Sparrows in spring grass. The sparrow gains its power from its numbers. In clusters, sparrows eat and forage, and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated by their numbers. Security and joy is in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within your, their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many clusters align the meaning of the sparrow with joy. And in the Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering, help one triumph over hardship and bring joy. The sacred landscape wants you to know delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering, host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elevation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is a time to be spontaneous and madcap. 
Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal, legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun, lots of fun, especially in community with others. So that's your message there, my Scorpio friends. Let's pull some tarot on all this, shall we? So, my true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. How is it we're trying to love and align with the universe? What is it that we're trying to grow our capacity here to align with the love of the universe? Well, it's about not giving up. Not giving up on the fact of trying this all together and there's lack of clarity about how to move forward possibly because secret so those things you're, you're feeling unsafe and a wee bit jittery I'd say about those ideas but your true safety lies in your capacity to align with the love of the universe this does not much look like aligning with the love of the universe this energy Perhaps this is aligning and ending so that you can, what, absolutely put your faith in the universe because you know you deserve better than all of this energy. Ending a cycle, start of a new one. That very well may be the case, but someone seems to be fighting the situation. And not feeling very safe in it because your truest safety lies in your capacity to align with the love of the universe. What are we in awe over? Well, a v time of very positive change, wheel of fortune turning in your favor. I am in awe of the mis magnificent guidance that's available to me about the, the decisions I'm going to make and how I'm going to move forward. So this wheel of fortune spins and there's some sort of decision you're going to have to move forward with. What's this soul journey about here in the tarot? So it's about soulmate. It's about your children, possibly. Someone you've known for quite some time. Now, is something's happening, happened with this person. It's like this six of cups soulmate energy has been topsy-turvied. Things are being like... It's just not working out the way you'd hoped. But perhaps while you're trying to work through all of this demand and this coming into a new understanding of the way the divine works, perhaps this person comes back or you're having a hard time dealing with your children on a daily basis because your soul's on a journey. A lot of times that's not pleasant. You know, it's very hard work. And you're not seeing the positive and having to deal with children. However, you should be seeing the positive in those children because the divine God, Jesus, even said in the Bible as a teacher that you need to come unto him as a little child. So be more childlike. Have more fun. Maybe someone's sole journey is to, to get in contact with their, their inner child more, to have more fun. Energy flows where my intention goes. Tell me about this, please. Oops. Yeah, there's an ending. So if your energy's been going, thoughts have been going towards an ending, you will be walking away at some point here. My, ener my energy goes where my intention goes. My energy flows where my intention goes. So if your energy's been flowing towards an ending or your intent that's been your intent to end this struggle and turmoil. Very possibly you'll be going through a, an ending energetically. An ending of all of this thinking their secrets and having to feel like you have to fight for everything. And the divine changing your trajectory to help heal some sort of inner child issue within you. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Oh yeah, you do. That's the card of patience, divine timing. It's the card of healing. It's, it's if your health has been off. Absolutely will receive divine guidance about how to fix that. You could have lost somebody who's, who's not been healthy. And so there was a walking away from this life. But whatever this is in this health situation, if it's health... 
always trust the direction of the universe and know you're being guided it's to bring justice your way now it's like there's secrets that being held or your intuition is screaming at you that something's not quite right here so you're very conflicted about how to move forward and embrace this transformation so what's this delight card about Oh, it's been a bloody battle. Wow. So this card was about people, uh, animals, other animals feeling intimidated by the amount of numbers of this bird. Like big animals would leave because of the amount of numbers of this bird. So perhaps people are running from you because they realize you're a force to be reckoned with. Are you going to fight? to the bitter end are you going to be that fight to the bitter end person or are you going to drop the swords and walk away there's an apology coming your way that you're not expecting possibly from cancer pisces scorpio namely pisces i would say being the fishes in the cup and it could be that a king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn is helping this person come forward now this could be a virgo taurus capricorn embodying this energy to bring forward an apology about the battle that has been ensuing and there's your virgo energy hermit mode going inward asking the divine for clarity one more message for my lovely friends Scorpio friends. Universal law. Everything in the universe consists of energy formed into different vibrations. All that is experienced and created in this life is the result of magnetic law of attraction. Through this law, energies of the same type come together. Whatever you focus on will come into your life. The universe will never judge you and as such makes no distinction between good and bad. It only organizes energies according to similarity. Today, Create a vision for your life. Feel your vision. Feel that feeling of and radiate it through your mind, body, and spirit. Hold that feeling. Meditate on it because uh, become it. And very soon you will have many manifestations of your higher vision of your life. So this is all about learning how to manifest the higher vision of your life. I hope you're all doing well. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.